Advantages of tasking process. First advantage is design flexibility. The size of an object doesn't matter for testing. From millimeters to few meters, from grams to hundreds of tons, size and weight of the part to be made doesn't matter. It can be cast. It is practically possible to make casting of any size even up to 200 tons of weight. Some of the examples of casting flexibility are Heavy equipment parts like turbine casing in this picture is possible to make by using casting process. This hydraulic press body is made by using casting process. Another good example is this heavy ship propeller and so on. All these parts can be made easily in the required size by casting process rather than fabricating them by joining several small pieces. Now let's discuss about the complexity of the casting part. In casting process, molten metal can flow into small sections of the mold cavity easily. Hence, casting process can be used to make any complex shape. Suppose if we want to manufacture this complex part with casting, it is possible. But to produce the same part with other manufacturing processes like CNC machining, it is too complex and uneconomical to produce. This image is a good example of how aluminium reaches complex small sections. In this, he pours aluminium matter into an ant colony. The aluminium enters easily into most of the small sections of the ant colony. To watch this video, follow link in the description. Any intricate shape, maybe internal or external, can be made. Material choice When it comes to type of materials that can be casted, not only aluminium, all types of engineering alloys can be cast. Some of the common casting metals are aluminium, magnesium, and copper alloys. Other materials include tin, zinc, and lead alloys, and iron and steel are also cast in graphite molds. Permanent molds which last more than one casting still have a limited life before wearing out. Many materials can only be processed by casting processes because of their metallurgical considerations. Tooling and equipment cost Tooling and equipment costs are low compared to other metal manufacturing processes. Tooling required for casting process are generally inexpensive. Some of the basic tools required for casting process are For molten metal, we need metal or metal scrap. A crucible is needed to fill these metal pieces and we need furnace, refractory bricks, personal protective gear for the safety concerns, lighting device. To handle a hot crucible, we need the suitable tongs, suitable ring to place crucible after picking from furnace, sand, etc. Manufacturing cost of parts Parts made by casting process has lowest possible cost compared to other machining processes. Casting is often cheapest and most direct way of producing a shape with certain desired mechanical properties. Production lead time. The lead time is the time between the start and completion of production process. When complexity is taken into consideration in the production, the casting process has short lead time for complex parts when compared to other manufacturing processes. And hence, casting process is ideal for short production runs, especially to manufacture complex parts. All major parts like automobile cylinders, blocks, machine tool beds, crankshafts, camshafts, differential housing, IC engine components, etc. are made by casting process.
production rate the production rate of casting process depends on various factors usually it is from 5 to 200 part per hour this depends on size and complexity of the part casting process equipment used for the casting process what are the casting materials and so on now let's discuss about the disadvantages of casting process first disadvantage of casting process is about the accuracy of casting part because of shrinkage in the casting the dimensional accuracy might be at risk so we must take care by providing suitable allowances to the pattern and need to make mold cavity with this in mind before pouring the molten metal with the normal sand casting process the dimensional accuracy and surface finish is poor if proper care is not taken while producing casting part there is a good chance that we might end up with inaccurate useless part to make the part usable we might need to carry machining operations and if it is not economical to do machining operations we need to remill and produce the part again because the dimensional accuracy of casting part is not so good especially in case of sand casting we cannot use parts made by casting directly for final use hence further processing of casting is required after casting the part labor intensive sand casting requires higher levels of hand crafting and is more labor intensive than other casting methods because in sand casting we need to make mold with pattern for every single part and pour molten metal if there are too many casting defects we might need to start entire process from the beginning if everything goes fine we need to make another mold to cast another part post processing just casting a part is not enough it requires secondary machining operations in order to improve the surface finish we need to follow sequence of machining operations to make the final part modern casting processes can be automated to some extent but the automation of casting process is considered only when the production scale is from medium to large low strength the parts made by casting have low strength when compared to machined parts or forged parts this is due to high porosity in parts made by casting process the forged parts are generally stronger and more reliable than castings due to the better grain structure thus forged parts handle impact better than castings material properties cooling of casting is generally uniform from all directions hence it is generally does not have directional properties the directional solidification of the casting can be seen in the simulation the solidification in the simulation is occurring from farthest end of the casting and works its way towards the sprue of the casting casting defects if you want to know about what are the different types of casting defects and what are the remedies to eliminate the casting defects to some extent i have made a video on it to watch the video follow video link in the description casting defects are the undesired irregularities in the metal casting part there are number of casting defects it is not possible to eliminate the casting defects completely but we can try and minimize the casting defects to some extent some of the casting defects are gas porosity shrinkage defects mold material defects pouring metal defects metallurgical defects casting shape defects and so on